Welcome back, beautiful beings. It's Denise. Today, we're going to make ice cream pockets. These are from the party section at Dollar Tree. And they're plates. And you get eight. And they're six inch by nine inch. And I have a purple one with sprinkles on it. I have a pink one with sprinkles on it. And the cone is darker on this one. And the other one is lighter. And I think they're adorable and cute. And they'd make really, really awesome pockets. They are a little big. For our pocket files. As you can see. If you're making a bigger one. Or a journal cover. They'd fit perfect inside of a journal cover. Because the journal cover is always bigger. But here, as you can see, they're going to stick out of the edge. So, for us, and I picked all my pocket files that match. They all match the sprinkles, okay? But, luckily for us, as you can see, make sure you can see this good. You can have a large, medium, or a small cone. See the lines? So we can make small, medium, or large. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just cut this one down along the line and make it smaller. Let's see if that works. I just thought these would make a great pocket. They're super cute and fun to do. Another pocket file and that fits in there perfect. And if you want, you can make it smaller. Okay. Cut it to that line or that line. So really there's four, I guess. Four sizes you can create. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut another one out. I think I might make this smaller. Let's see what it looks like. I hope you all had a nice 4th of July and spent time with friends and family or at least got to watch fireworks somewhere. And then we have two shape, two sizes. I like them both. <laughs> this one looks I like, more realistic, I think. This one looks like huge ice cream cone, but they both work. Okay. Now I have markers. Just to get rid of that white. Just take the marker, go along the edges. I want to show you. You can even see that. This side's done, this side's not. Give you an idea. Of the look and how it affects it. Then I got a brown marker. These are just Corollas. And we're going to hide the white on this side. And it's difference. You can tell the difference. Makes it a little darker. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can see the white. We're just hiding that white. I'm going to set it aside just in case it's still wet. Do purple. Both done beautiful beans. I'm not going to sew them in or anything because right now we're just doing ice creams and then later on I'm going to pick different colors that match for the background and I'm going to glue on some paper to our pocket files that go with the ice cream. That might be a bit tricky but I can figure it out. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move on to the napkins. You get 16 in the party section in your Dollar Tree. And these are 2.4 inch by 12.4 inch. 
all of them are. I have purple. It's kind of a light purple, aqua, and pink. Okay. I wanted to show you how to cut them. Start out. Here's the napkin. You get four of them. And if you want, you can even make magnets for these because they'd make really cute magnets for your refrigerator. These would even make good, cute magnets for your refrigerator. You give them away as a gift to whoever. Okay, so here's the napkin. And we're gonna do this easy way. We'll fold it back and then see how they connect there. We're just gonna unconnect them with the scissors. So let's get started. I made a demo because I wanted them smaller. All I did with the demo is I took the napkin and I cut it down a little bit because I thought they were too big and too wonky looking. <laughs> and plus they, let's see how they fit. You see, they'd be going over the edge and then you'd have to worry about what you're gonna put on the edge and I didn't want to have to do that so I just cut them smaller and all I did was put this over it and I traced it and then I cut it inside the trace to make it smaller okay and then I took this and traced it again here and then this one I wanted a regular ice cream cone look Let's cut these out and I kind of want ice cream to go out a little bit. I'm going to do this cone first. And then I just wanted the ice cream, ice cream to come out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a scoop of ice cream. Okay. I might even go in more, but I do want to get rid of these points on here. So I might bring that in a little bit. Like that. I want to make sure they're even though. That looks about even. And then out. Good enough. Good enough for me, beautiful beans. And then we got this one. So let's cut this one out. I kind of want the cone longer. But I don't think the cone's going to work longer. Because of that point. As you can see. And if you don't have this, you can make your own ice creams too. You can just draw your own ice creams on a piece of cardboard and cut it out and then paint it. Let's see where we're at, beautiful beans. Then get rid of the extra layer, the napkin. I don't know. This just seems don't seem like it's long enough. That needs to go up more too. Because I want to wrap it around. Might have to cut this a little bit. To get it where we want it. Okay, let's take the extra cover off. Still want to wrap it. 
I just wish this was longer down here. Might have to cut off some of the top. I want to wrap it though. Or we can just make our own cone. But I really just wanted to use a napkin. Or we can do both. Might have to make the cone smaller. So I'm going to trace another one. Here. On this. No, let's do it on this. I already traced some of the regular looking ones on this, but I don't know if I like them. So let's just take this and we'll cut it smaller. We'll make this one our demo. Okay, I traced two and I flipped it over so it would look different than the other one. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do this. Yes, let's glue it down. Let's see how it looks. I got my Mod Bodge Maddie. I found this after I used the, the glass on the other video. Okay, we'll do that this side. I just don't want to get no glue on the table or the mat. I got the mat there to hide the glare, the light. I hope everyone is well and they had a wonderful 4th of July. I've seen lots of beautiful fireworks and colors and sprinklers. Not sprinklers, what are they called? Sparklers. <laughs> Make sure I put this down right there. Ice cream can be wrinkly a little bit. Just give it some texture. This don't look good. I think it's going to. Looks like the ice cream is running down the cone. I just wish we could make a bigger cone. Okay, now I'm going to trim this a little bit. Just a little bit so we can wrap it around. It looks like the ice cream melted down the cone, beautiful being. So I'm going to have to come up with something else. Because <laughs> the cone is missing and I don't like that look. <laughs> so I'm going to have to come up with something else. The cone needs to be bigger. I mean, it still works. Let's do, let this dry. And we'll just do a regular size when it's fits that shape completely and I'm thinking the pink should still shine through so we'll just do this okay and then we'll see where we're at from there you can see the brown through the pink a little bit so maybe we should paint brown top but there's that one compared to that one I think it looks way better on the white this one's kind of darker I mean the cone looks fine but the ice cream not so much That one's purple, beautiful beings. This one's pink. I think it would look better on white because it makes the color pop. Or if you like this, you can use that. So let's do another one. Let's do a pink one. We'll make this one smaller. We'll do the cone.
All right, let's do a pink one to compare to this one, and then one of these to compare to that. But first, I'm gonna want this on here. We're gonna have to paint it with things. So I'm just gonna get some of this. I got blue turquoise that matches. I'm gonna put some on here, just on the cone part, or not, on the ice cream part. Just like that, Let's get rid of that brown. So the color comes out more, and then I gotta clean the brush, and then we'll do pink. Okay, beautiful bangs, I have pink polish. And then we'll let them dry and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to fix this one. And then I'm going to do all the other ones. And I'm going to fast forward. But I'll do it slowly so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. This I'm going to put some glue down. I want to fix this. It looks like it's running over the edge, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna put this like right there. I found some things to put use for sprinkles, I'll show you after we get all these ice cream cones done. Beautiful beings, I want to do all these so they dry. Now, if you make your own ice cream cone. This is for you. Okay. But you can do the shape of the ice cream better than I did. Because I'm covering mine up. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay. I'm going to take some nutmeg brown. And I'm going to draw lines. Like a cone. I have a paintbrush I let dry up just for this purpose so I can either write or do things like this I think now we're going to try a different color use brown oxide and this paint is thicker so if you're going for a texture, use a thicker paint because it leaves a nice texture on it. And in some spots, I'm just laying it down and pulling it, pulling the paintbrush because it's so thick that it's getting, it's not coming off the tip, but it's coming off the brush itself. <laughs> okay, here I wanted, to sh I wanted you to see how to do it, but plus I wanted you to see the paints I used to match the napkin colors. Okay, so I have a white plain one, I have aqua, I have pink, and I have a purple also. Okay, here I made extra scoops. I cut out like three or four, it might have been four different shapes. And I don't know if they're going to look good or not, but we're going to find out. And if they do, we'll use them. And if they don't look good and they look funny, we won't use them. Okay, beautiful beings. I just, I more or less wanted you to see, this is like a perfect ice cream shape. So if you want to make one homemade, you know what I mean? Without the napkin, you do the lines with the paint. I like that shape. I do, I do. Okay, beautiful beings. I have these two. I don't like the, I don't like how the ice cream looks because it looks like it's all melted. So I cut out 
this shape. I just wanted to show you the shape I cut out. And I got this one for that one. And then I'm going to put this over that. I think it looks a little better. I'll show you. This versus that. I think it looks better because it just looks like the ice cream's all melted. Okay? So, this shape. Might be a little bit too big, but I like it. But I'm going to glue that down to that. Put that on there. And then I have this. I put that shape on here. Okay. Now I'm just going to add a piece of scrap along this. So they blend together. I did that on other ones. I'm not doing it on all of them. Just on... The ones I think that need the blended together look. <laughs> and I'm just using a small brush and putting Mudge Budge. And then gluing it down. Blending them nice together. Where's the other one I did? So I'd show you right here. I put a scoop on that because it's melting. <laughs> the melting look. And then I put an extra piece on there. Okay. And then like on this one, take some glue. Some Elena's. Positioned it where I wanted it. Two is good. And then you check the back. Like this. And then you put some more glue in there wherever it's needed. better than this. What do you think? This just looks like it's all melted. The ice cream's all melted. <laughs> and I did on this one so it blended together. I took another piece of scrap and glued that down. Just trying to cover everything for you beautiful beings. I have these kebab sticks and I use these for the sprinkles. What I did was I painted them all white and green, well aqua, a dark aqua, and I cut them all. <laughs> and I didn't want to do it on camera because they flew all over the place, okay? And I have these beads from Walmart. They're orange. And I have gold ones. I don't know how they look. I haven't used the gold ones yet. And then I have these leftover ones from Dollar Tree. Some are pink, some are white. I had the little, the biggest white ones I could find because I ran out of these. Because I got just enough over here. And I did two sticks of white and two sticks of the aqua. I think I did two sticks of the aqua. I know I did two sticks of the white and I used them all. But I wanna put the rest of these here for our sprinkles that they'd make cute sprinkles and they did they worked out great now where am I going to put the other one I'm going to put one right here I thought I needed that many that's all right I don't then I got these clear ones I'm going to put down here. I just don't want them to roll away. That didn't work. Oh, 
That's why I got my toothpick right here somewhere. But I wanted to put those ones on the pink ones. Okay, they're clear and they have a hint of pink to them. Those are from the Dollar Tree too. The mixture of from the Dollar Tree. But if you have these long glass beads from Walmart, these ones are from Dollar Tree. They have these in white, black, and I think gray and gold. But Walmart, I don't know what colors, but if you can get all the colors at Walmart. <laughs> they even sell them anymore because, like I said, I got this on clearance. And usually when you get something on clearance and it's cheap, it doesn't come back at Walmart. Right. Now I need to put some of these in the other ones. I did this one. And I got these from the grandkids stash. <laughs> That's where I got them from. Let's see, can you see? I'm sure you've seen these before. They're to make bracelets or necklaces with. So I'm using these. Just use what you have, beautiful beings. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> or I'm making stuff. Like with the shish kebabs. <laughs> Just use what you have, beautiful beings. If you wanted to, you could probably just put a little tiny glue and then put glitter in them, glitter in them too, for the long ones and for the ball-shaped ones. There we go, beautiful beings. That. Then I get to go back to these and add a couple of these here and there and here. I'm thinking I'm only going to do two. And these are so long. They're so long. I cut them too long. <laughs> but I'm going to try to find the small ones for the small ones. And then when I'm done with all these and everything's dry, I'll come back and show you all of our ice cream cones. Okay, beautiful beings. <laughs> Here's our ice cream cones. I doubled these ones up. They're double scoops. That's what they look like close up. I think they all turned out great. I should show you. There. This is a small and this is a medium. Or you can cut it down again and it could be another medium. Okay. Or, and that's what those look like up close. It could be a large. So you can have two mediums, okay? This is a medium. Small, medium, large. Okay, beautiful beings. I double scoop these ones. Close up with the paint. That's the texture, the oxide. It's really thick paint. I'm trying to get the ones that are the same size to show you. Close. These ones with the paint be behind them. Here's another one of these. And this, I think, is a medium. Yeah, that's a medium.
Here's another double scoop. Here's a wide double scoop. Difference in textures. I already showed you this one, didn't I? Where's the other one? Here's the difference. Just regular paint and then thick paint. This one has paint behind it. This one is white, I believe. The bottom one might not be. It might have paint. Either way, the white or the paint, they both work really well. And here's the first one we made. See the difference in the darkness? It's really dark. Get a pink one to show you. It's really dark <laughs> on the brown cardboard. So either do white or paint behind them. Hey, beautiful beings. Thanks for watching. Hope you make some ice cream cones. Have a wonderful everything.